Hi students, uh, you may realize that on the left side of the uh, screen on Blackboard you'll see this our menu and uh, there's an area that says syllabus and schedule. If you click on that link you're going to go down, uh, scroll down to the bottom of that link. I apologize there's a syllabus and schedule for a different class that's in there. We'll try to get that removed but um, in any case go to the very bottom one and you'll see SEM1 pacing guide generic uh, document uh, you should look at both, the, the syllabus and the pacing schedule, but I'd like to talk a little bit about the pacing schedule for a second. Um, if we look at the uh, pacing schedule, you're going to see that everything is broken down by week. Now, I know many of you students have started at different times uh, of the school year, you know, maybe as much as three weeks apart. So I get that. Um, but I, I do know when your enrollment date is, so no worries there as far as uh, staying up with pace of the course. Um, so look, at, you'll be able to tell where you should be at. A lot of That's a real common question I get from uh, many of you guys. It's like, you know, where should I be right now or how far should I be in this class? Well, you can see basically on this pacing schedule, we have uh, 17 weeks laid out. So you want to be through 17 weeks. Um, that would that should fit your regular school calendar, and so um, you want to be kind of diligent or use due diligence to stay with this pacing schedule if you can. You can notice that it's uh, outlined like, for example, we have week one, week two, week three, etc. The first uh, uh, mid quarter is in the green area. The blue area takes you through week eight, that's six, seven, and eight. And then the black area is 9 through 13, and then we have a red area 14 through 17. So if you look at you can see it's a real brief, brief um, summary of what you should be doing that week. Like, for example, week 1, unit 1, this is our introduction to Java unit, where you read the notes, you take a quiz on lesson 1, and then you also do read notes and do the exercises and do a quiz on lesson two. So follow that as best you can and look at that in conjunction with the uh, syllabus and you'll be in great shape. That's my tip for the week and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing more of your work.